good. What's up, Fish Tank people? FishTankTV.com, Dustin's Fish Tanks, bringing it to you. We interrupt your regularly scheduled Techno Tetra Tuesday to talk about my love for Japan and something that I saw when I was out in Seattle last week. All right, Fish Tank people. I've never been to an ADA shop, all right? ADA style. We're about to roll into a full ADA shop out here in, I think it's Bellevue, Washington, to a shop called Aquaria. The lady came out, she was super pumped. Oh man, these tanks are insane. Okay, so I've always had a love for stuff from Japan and the Japanese people. Perhaps it's my love of samurai and doing battle against yourself in the dojo. Perhaps it's all the wonderful Wu-Tang references. Or perhaps it's their fish on Escapes and Koi. But more on that in a minute. Most of you know I was a history major and my 94 and a half year old grandfather who was still barely kicking it, uh, was actually stationed in Japan after World War II. Now I want to stop for a second and I want you all to think about something with me real quick. Okay, now stick with me for a second because I am getting back to fish tanks, but roll to a parking lot sometime full of cars and look around. What do you see? You see more than half in my guess, unless you're in Detroit or something, are Japanese made cars. I'm sitting here in my parking lot of my office there's a, there's a Toyota, there's a Toyota, and there's my old Lexus, okay? Now I want you to think about something for a second. This is the history major in me oozing, but it does all relate back to fish tanks, and that is this, okay? Japan, we literally dropped an atomic bomb on Japan, okay? Like, nuclear war, US did it, I don't wanna get into all the politics of that, but think about this. This happened right after World War II, and Japan, with hardly any natural resources at all, it's smaller than California, folks, rebuilt itself in a very small amount of time into a world powerhouse in the automobile industry. Not to mention many other industries as well, TVs, electronics, you name it. Think about that for a second. Think about how hard working and the refinement and dedication that these people have. Let's get back to fish tanks. Before we get back into fish tanks, I just want to hammer this point home here. I have a Lexus with 140,000 miles that's just now showing its age. You all saw the video the other day of my wife's minivan that I accidentally cracked the windshield of. I didn't even look at any other options when it came to buying a minivan for my one wonderful family truckster, okay? There's a refinement there. There's a precision there. Now let's talk about the Japanese and their aquariums. The camera does not do this tank back here justice, all right? This tank back here had some of the craziest stem plants, most perfectly trimmed that I had ever seen in my entire life. Keep in mind, folks, um, this is a taller tank. These were every bit over a foot tall, perfectly manicured and maintained. Uh, like I said, camera doesn't do this tank justice. I've never seen a tank so well trimmed with my own two eyes. Have you ever looked at the International Aquascaping Contest or International Plant Layout Contest put on by the Amano, ADA Amano? It's the who's who in the aquascaping world, okay? People from all over the world submit their entries. They have to keep them a secret. It's a big trada. It's the who's who in the aquascaping world contest. And guess which country a large majority of the winners are from? Yes, it's Japan. You want to keep talking fish with Japan? How about koi? They have been refining koi, a fish that I love dearly, since almost 1820. Breeding it, rebreeding it, refining it, making a bunch of different color combinations and pattern, okay? There is a precision with what the Japanese do, especially with fish. And obviously we cannot go without talking about one of the most influential people in the aquarium hobby, Mr. Takashi Amano himself, founder of ADA, Aqua Design Amano. May Mr. Amano rest in peace. More on ADA in just a second. I've never seen stem plants so perfectly. I mean, drop me a comment on what you think about this tank. ADA soil, look at the substrate. Okay, so fast forward to my trip out to the Seattle area last week. It is 10.30 Pacific time, 
1.30 a.m. Eastern Time and Dusty is just now sitting down to dinner with my boy Sean and the crew from Fritz and everybody that's there. Okay, I say sitting down for dinner. I actually sit down. The kitchen is closed. I was fortunate enough to have them order ahead, order ahead some oysters for me, so I did get to slurp down some oysters. And then my dinner consisted of everyone else's food that was left on their plate. Boy, isn't traveling fun. But while I'm there, Sean, who's slightly inebriated, comes up to me and he goes, dude, whatever you're doing tomorrow, don't book anything at noon. I'm like, all right, dude, yeah, whatever. You know, like I got fish rooms out the kazoo. I'm gonna see lots of great videos to take. But uh, yeah, I won't book anything in there. Well, what do you got going on, dude? He goes, he goes, I'm gonna take you to an aquascaping demo tomorrow at noon. Don't say anything, don't say anything. I'm like, all right, cool. He does not mention where it is, and he doesn't mention who's putting it on, okay? He doesn't say, we're going to an ADA shop, and you're gonna have an aquascaping demo put on by someone whose world ranking uh, was number 83 at her highest. Sean fails to mention all of this. The shop we went to was called Aquaria. Not a big bunch of frontal presence, like probably would walk right past it if you weren't looking for it. It's in Bellevue, Washington, uh, home of I think Bill Gates and a lot of other rich techs that live out in the Seattle area. We rolled in there and I was greeted by the owner, Fiona. Fiona's English is not great, but her aquascapes are amazing. Her shop, little tiny boutique shop, probably only 10 feet wide by 20, if you will, and just perfect. Every little thing in that shop was perfect. I'm gonna digress a little bit here and I wanna talk about some time that I spent with Oliver Kanat and what he has said about uh, his time spent with Amano and over in Japan. And he said that the Japanese, when they work on the plants, before they put them in the tank this is the way to the plants so they have a, a preparation process and this is the way to the tank like you can't get the tank without playing with the plants and working with them and making them do what you want prior to putting them into the aquascape and uh, this is abundantly clear he talks about doing like 500 richia stones all at once clearly there is a uh a handling and a precision and a respect for the plants that I think that the maybe Americans do not quite have as much. Fiona world rank 83. Wow. Fiona top 100. Fiona. Yeah. Can you spray <laughs> My name is Dustin, and I only do plants. I only do plants in fish tanks. No salt, no cichlids, only plants. Wow. And when I was in college, I read Takashi Amano's book, Nature Aquarium. Mm -hmm. And I said, I can't believe this is how it possibly could go. And I've had planted tanks basically ever since then. And I love everything about the whole Amano style. And I've hosted aquascaping contests. And tomorrow I have an aquascaping contest where people compete for the best design and the winner gets $200. Mm -hmm. And if anybody from your shop came here, they'd probably win. <laughs> but, uh, so I am super excited to be here. Uh -huh. I am recording this, but it's so we're so pumped to do this. I've never sat in front of anything this cool, this exciting with this materials, and I know that Amano, the Amano style and the ADA style is like the the best. So I'm super excited. And uh, lighting? What about lighting? Lighting. Uh, they need sunlight. Okay. okay. So put them close to the window. window. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and Looking good. Do me a favor, folks. Drop me a comment on what you think about this shop, the refinement of it, and let me know what you think about just uh, the Japanese approach to aquascaping and the fish tank hobby. Do you have any stories of people you know that kept insane tanks? Maybe you know somebody who's competed in the ADA contest, or maybe you've got an ADA tank yourself, or maybe you never heard of ADA before. Drop me a comment on that. Make sure you hit the notification button and the subscribe button to get more of this stuff we got coming at you. Make it an awesome week. Tank on.